Hello, thank you for joining Raspi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker, and in this little Python tutorial video, I'm going to sh talk to you about if statements. Um, an if statement will check against a value or something, um, some data, um, whether it is true or false, but it would run the code in a certain way. <coughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, put a little function in here called test and I'm going to pass in uh, what's called an argument um, as money. Now don't worry I'm going to go into functions on another video so don't worry about the top line on how it runs um, it's from here downwards in regards to the code so how you would start off an if statement is just by simply putting if and then if the money is greater than or equal to Free, because we're going to just do it as three pounds. Um, then do something. So if it is, then we're going to print Martin. Enjoy your coffee. Ta -da. So there you go. I've got enough money. I've bought my coffee. Now there is another work thing that you can do because we've got an if. Now you can pass in another if. Um, but I'm going to get to that in a second um, so because this has to be true for that to run so if that isn't true nothing's going to happen at this point so what you do is add an else statement into there so this would be if this doesn't work then do this bit of code so basically I'm going to put um, sorry Martin, you, Martins, you don't have enough money. Um, so there you go, I just don't have enough money. So that would be a an if statement. So you've got the if it's true, run that. If not, do this. Now, like I say, you can put in another if statement but the problem with that is if it's true in this factor and then you do another one here with a different sort of value then it will do this as well and then if that's not true then it will run this bit them two are tying together because it's an if and an elf in the same sort of line of code although there's probably a line or two going to be in between but what you can do is rather than having multiple if else statements you can simply put else if so it's like an in between so that's one and this is like another check against and then failing that it does the else so if the sorry else if the money is less than whoops free and money is greater than or oh, I've done it again how did I manage to do that <laughs> uh, less than there we go I managed it in the end <laughs> trouble with uh, just coding it in one go um, so anyhow if it's else if money is less than free and the money is greater than or equal to 2 then do something so I'm going to say Martin just not enough money please come back with some more ok so there we go so there we're using this as an actual um, if statement so we've got our if we have enough if we don't have enough and we're just slightly off then we have our nope you just don't have enough money at all so if I press enter on that so that function is now created um, and if I enter test and I pass in the money which is this um, variable here uh, it's going to pass it into the the workings of the function so I'm going to put 3 
Martin, enjoy your coffee. I added exactly the right amount of money to buy the coffee. Um, and this time I'm going to put one pound, I guess. Hmm, sorry, you don't have enough money. And if I had two pounds. Martin, just not enough money. Please come back with some more. So there you go. That's how you could use some variables. But what you can do is, if I bring that function back into play, I can also pass in another if statement or if else into or in between these parts. So you like extra um, narrowing it down to whatever you, you're working with. So I could put if money is greater than three, then what you could do is put print Martin. Um, don't forget your change. Okay, so I'm printing out that. Um, I'm going to pass it in as a little equation here. So I'm going to put money minus three. Okay, so it's going to print out the exact amount of change I will get. So I'm just going to click at the bottom of the function and then drop out of that. So that function is now created. So I'm going to test. I'm going to pass in that I've got exactly the right money. And it shouldn't do any part of this because I do not have the equal to. Okay, so I'm just going to press enter. And it says, Martin, enjoy your coffee. But if I put test and I put four, in fact, normally I'd have a fiver on you, a five pounds. Um, I guess wherever you are, five dollars or whatever. Hmm. Enjoy your coffee. Martin, don't forget your change. Two? Two pounds change. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> so there you go. You can add extra parts into an if, elif, or else if statement. Now I did pop an and conditional part into this. Um, and I will do that in another video. Um, so keep looking through this playlist and you'll find other um, little Python tutorials regarding little sections like that. So thank you for watching this um, tutorial. Please like, share, subscribe if you can. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one.